I love when I get a little bit of this in my mouth. It tastes so good, it's so weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing this full coverage spring glam look right here. We're covering up our past, present, and future with this foundation and concealer right here. I am so full coverage right now and I'm loving it. But I'm also super spring. I love this freaking look. I know you guys are gonna love it too. I use the Makeup Shayla X ColourPop Perception Collection, which you guys will see how I feel about this freaking collection in this video. So so if you want to see how I achieved this look right here, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I had the worst allergic reaction last week. I tried like a new concealer and my whole entire under eyes were burning, itching, red, scaly, and super puffy. Like I just got two black eyes so I'm just healing from it and right here you can see it's still a little puffy but it's gone down so much I didn't I, <laughs> I haven't put on makeup in like a week because of it because I was so scared it's gonna come back but I think my face looks how it normally looks just you know regular dark circles instead of like extreme black eye under eye circles so I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my face and I have not been using primer which is so crazy because usually I use primer like some type of primer on my face before foundation I'm trying to open this guy because it's new I've been using the first Solly drops the ones that I use are the volcanic elixir ones but I just got these in the rolls gold elixir and I thought it'd be really pretty for this like spring look and um, it doesn't really do much I don't think maybe it, I think it helps with radiance in your skin so um, we're gonna try it out today and I have been using this instead of primer and it's been so amazing I just look how pretty it is it's just so pretty look at that gorge so I'm just gonna put that in my hand and then work it into my hand and then start to work just pat it into my skin okay so now that our skin is prepped and hydrated I'm gonna go ahead and start to put some foundation on the foundation we're going for full coverage like full glam full coverage so I'm gonna take the hourglass stick foundation which I haven't used in so long this is the beige shade but I also have nude so I'm like right in between the two sometimes so I'm gonna take nude and this is just the easiest way to put on foundation it's the quickest way because it's just a stick and you just draw lines on your face and then blend it in it's so fast so easy and this particular stick is super full coverage like it is the number one full coverage stick foundation that i've ever seen i'm gonna put that into my skin with a beauty blender and i'm just gonna work it in i think this actually you can put this in with a brush or a beauty blender either one works some people like to use a brush with this and I kind of understand why, but I'm just so used to using the Beauty Blender that I just feel like nothing else will work better than this guy. You see how full coverage that is? Like it just covered up everything, like all my acne, all my discoloration, my mustache, my under eye circles are about to disappear. We are just gonna put on a new face. <laughs> my under eyes are really crusty right now. So now that we have the base on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick just so that they look normal. I'm gonna use the Samo Samo Trusty Full proof brow powder from Benefit. I've used this in a hundred videos. You guys know I'm shade five if you follow my videos pretty often. If you're new, hi, my name is Kristen Dominique and I am a Benefit brow addict. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick. Just nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Just trying to get them to look a little normal. I take the back, the darkest part, and I fill in the back part of my eyebrow. So I just follow it. brows are on our face so now we can move on so I wanted to try this out today it's like a pink cream matte eye color from dose of colors you can use this as an eyeliner or as a cream base so I'm gonna do that this is a uh, sleepover it's a really pretty pink color and I'm gonna use that all over my entire lid just so that I can have like a really pretty soft pink base I want this look to be very spring blush girly so I want to try Putting this down all over the eye first. Patting it on with my ring finger really, really close into my lash line and all over the lid up into the crease, even going a little bit above the brow bone. So, and then with this other clean finger, I'm just gonna dab the edges so it looks like, you know, smooth. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So now we have that on as a base, that was super easy. Um, we're gonna put that down and we're gonna go into this palette that I'm so excited about. Um, this is the Perception Palette from Shayla X ColourPop. And I've already used it. All of the shades are super, super pigmented, creamy, buttery, melting goodness. You, those of you who saw my stories, I was like, I was in shock. These are amazing. The first color I'm gonna pick up is Culture. 
like this matte warm shade right here. So I'm gonna take Culture. So we're gonna put that on with a brush. I'm gonna take this one right here, the Makeup Shock T107 or T67. I'm gonna take Culture and start to work that right on the crease. I'm just go back and forth. I'm actually gonna move my hand back a little bit just so I can have a little bit more of a softer touch. I'm gonna work it around, circular motions. I'm also gonna bring it around here. I'm gonna go halfway in like that, right around. For the next color, I'm gonna pick up September, this really pretty pink color right here. I'm gonna put it all over the lid. So I'm gonna take a flat brush to press that into the lid. I'm gonna take this um, brush right here and start to press that into the skin, like right into the lid. Ooh, that is that screams spring to me. I'm gonna go back in with Culture, that matte shade, just to soften the edges here a little bit. I'm gonna take a bigger fluffy brush to blend all of these shades together just so that they're all soft and nothing is harsh. There's no hard stops along the way. Like everything's just like, whew. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna go in with Spill the Tea, this shade, this like pretty rose gold looking shade. Got pale rose gold. I'm gonna take that on the inner corners. Ooh, I think that's the name of one of her lips. Right on the brow bone, I'm gonna take Unbothered, which is the lightest shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that with like a soft, like a little tiny brush like this. And I'm just gonna apply it on the arch. Just highlighting the high points of your eye just gives you that extreme I'm gonna slay the day kind of look. I'm gonna take the darkest color called Played Out. It's a matte brown color. Look at that pig. I'm not flicking you guys off, but look at that pigment right there. Insane. Literally, it's like paint. I'm gonna start to work that on the lash line right there. Take Because this is very pigmented, really make sure you tap your brush and use a very soft hand. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the same direction, just lifting. This is gonna lift the eye and add some dimension, but it's not gonna be like a harsh, extreme wing. So there's not gonna be any type of hard edge to this, not even at the bottom. I'm just gonna make it all very soft. And there is a little too much pigment on here, so I'm gonna take a clean, semi-clean brush. It has like a lighter shade on it, and I'm just gonna start to soften the edge so that we don't have any edges, it's really soft. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. Just coat them up just a little bit because we're gonna put lashes on anyways. So but I wanna make sure they are nice and black. I'm gonna focus more on the lower lash line lashes because we won't be using lashes on the bottom. Even though I have some right here that I might wanna use, but I always end up not wanting to use them because I have a hard time putting them on, to be honest. I don't know, let's see how this works out for us. Okay, this is a really nice mascara. I'm gonna put on these Huda Beauty Ferras that I found. Like, I probably used them like twice and then save them and then use new ones. So I'm gonna pop on these Huda Beauty Fair Lashes right here and I will be right back. Wow, that is the quickest I've ever done my eyes in a really long time. So it's like really easy to do this type of look. Eyes are basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of my face. I'm gonna put on some concealer. The one I'm gonna use today is from EX1. It's their Delete Fluid Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 1.0, so it's very light. I'm gonna take it on the back of this here. It's like in a little pump, which is nice. So I'm gonna take some on my Beauty Blender and just Brighten those under eyes back to life. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna take this Too Faced Peach Perfect. Ooh, I love when I get a little bit of this in my mouth. It tastes so good, it's so weird. I haven't used this in a while because I lost it and I just found it recently, so I'm like, I'm gonna use it in today's video. I absolutely love this one because it truly brightens your under eyes and it doesn't give you flashback. It tastes good, it smells good, all the good things. So I'm gonna use this and just set the under eyes. 
And while I'm setting my under eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face using another fave. I use this all the time. My favorite contour palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I take this middle shade and use it to contour my entire face. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the good old brush. I forgot what this is called. It's from, it's from NARS. Um, but I used to use this a lot to contour. I haven't used it in a while. I forgot why. I'm gonna take it right on the cheekbone to really hollow it out. Now I'm gonna take this yellow shade right here and I'm gonna put it right down the center of the nose, right at the tip. I'm gonna take off the powder that I had earlier. Honestly, it's emphasizing the dry spots that I have from whatever happened to my under eyes last week. So it looks a little weird to be honest, but I just can't help it. <laughs> it's just super dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a, there's this really beautiful full coverage powder from Wander Beauty. It's like a foundation powder. But I'm gonna use this under my eyes if this covers up everything. So I'm hoping this will actually help me brighten my under eyes. Okay, so for bronzer, my go-to bronzer is this one right here from Marc Jacobs. It's the Tantric bronzer. Look how big this pan is. It's the size of my head. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here and start to warm up my face. For the highlight, I'm gonna take the Shayla X Color Pop Boomin Loose Powder Highlighter right here. I have to show you what this looks like on my hand. Whoa, look at that. I'm gonna take this highlighter and pop it on my cheeks. So that is a very beautiful highlight. And for the blush, I'm gonna take the NARS Free Soul. It's a really pretty pink color. I just thought this is so springy. So I'm gonna take this blush right here. Normally I don't go for these like shimmery blushes, but this blush is perfect for this look. So I'm gonna ignore my skin texture and just put it on my face to see what it looks like. Oh, we're gonna be able to see all the texture today. It doesn't look bad though. When you have a full coverage foundation and all the full coverage underneath with the concealer and the powder, when you put like a shimmery something on top, it does not look as bad as you think it will. It actually looks pretty good. And you can see the color and the shimmer instead of your texture. Trust me, if you use a full coverage foundation, full coverage concealer, the powder, you will be able to use a shimmer on top and it will look very, very pretty. Do it, do it to it. So we're almost done for the lips. I'm gonna take this lip liner. I was trying to figure out which lip liner I wanted to use. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. This is called Exposed from Kylie. It's one of her lip liners. I love how soft her lip liners are. So we have like really pink cheeks, eyes. So I wanted to go for more of a warmer lip. So that's why I chose Exposed. And then for the lipstick right on top, she has three lipstick that she came out with. She came out with Quickie, which is the one I'm thinking I'm gonna use today, which is a very pretty nude, very, very nudie nude. And then she has this one right here, which is called, ooh, I like this one. This is like a really pretty orangey color. And then the last one is, come on, sis. This is really pretty too. I feel like you can wear these at any time of the day. I'm gonna take Quickie and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So, so pretty. I love, love this color. I'm gonna take her gloss too. The gloss is the Ultra Glossy Lip. It's called Neat Freak. And it's this one right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you guys tell? It is just so beautiful. It's clear, but it's like so, like the pink shimmery gold in there. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna lay that right in the center. I'm gonna use it as like a highlight for your lip, like right on the high points. Love the whole collection. I'm obsessed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving me a huge thumbs up. There's like a thumbs up button down there. Don't physically give me a thumbs up. I mean, I can't see you, but if you click the button, then I can see you. So if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And before I let you go, I just want you to know that I love you. And I want you to put your dedication and your dreams, combine them together so you can have a very powerful outcome. So I love you guys so much. And if you stayed this long in the video, go ahead and comment below, only between me and you, only you and I know this. Comment below a pig and a flower, okay? Cause that describes me. Like I love to eat and I'm also very girly. Yeah, just between us. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye dollies.